you people? I'm back with another video. And today I have a gel polish kit review for you all. Mefto was kind enough to reach out to me to review one of their gel polish kits that come with 12 gel polishes as well as a UV LED lamp. So I'm super excited about this. Um, first off, I want to say that this packaging is absolutely stunning. It's just very bright, vibrant, feels like spring, summertime in the building. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get this open and see what all comes in this gel polish kit. Ooh. Okay, we have the instructions about how to use it as well as everything that comes um, inside of this kit. Very cool, we have some nice like loose glitters. We have like a iridescent glitter here, another iridescent glitter, but it has like four point stars and butterflies and moons. Then you get some gold foil as well as silver foil. You can never have enough foil flakes. Um, and then you also get some bling, that's really cool. Okay, so right off the bat you got some nail art stuff which is really cool. Next, you get this really beautiful lamp. Wow. Let me actually move the rest of this over to the side and show you guys here. Oh, this is a nice lamp. Okay, this is really cool. But let's just take a look at this lamp really quick. So, um, it has the 30 second, 60 second, and 99 seconds. And wow, it actually has like a low heat mode, which is really nice. You don't see a lot of lamps, especially like with a small footprint like this, they have low heat mode. Um, over here is where you plug it in, and then here are all the LED lights here at the bottom. I just check, this is actually a 48 watt lamp, so it's actually the same wattage as the lamp that I use for all of my other nail sets. So yeah, um, that's pretty cool, and let's go ahead and turn it on. Let's go ahead and plug it in. Oh cool, and, it's, and it has the LED light on it. That's really nice. So yeah, that's how bright it is. Oops. Okay, yeah, that's how bright it is here. I don't want to blind you guys. Let's see if it's motion censored. Oh, very nice. And it's motion censored. It does have the, the, the backing out. One of my first nail lamps that I got has the back out. Um, and I actually use it for my pedicures. So this is a really nice lamp. I really like the small footprint of this. Like you can even travel with this if you wanted to. Like this is a very small but powerful lamp. I really like that a lot. So how do you know when it's low heat? Oh, just in general, the 99 second is low heat. Okay. Yeah, I can actually feel a difference. I can feel the difference with the, like how strong the lights are with the 60 seconds versus the 99 seconds. And you can even see it's not, when you press it, it's not as bright. So when I press the 99 seconds, you see how it gets a little bit dimmer. So yeah, I, I'm liking this lamp a lot. So yeah, this comes in the kit. And then what else we got? We get 12 gel polishes here. You get, um, so you also get some nail accessories here. You get, very nice. Okay, this is a pretty cool kit. Yeah, this kit comes with a lot of stuff. So it comes with um, a nail clipper. It comes with some um, toe separators, a um, a fluffy brush. It comes with some cuticle, like a cuticle oil pan, which is really cool. This is a cuticle cutter, a cuticle pusher, a buffing block, which is nice, and a file. That is really cool. I love all the accessories and everything that it comes with. The last thing you get is the 12 colors here. So let me take them all out. These are so cute. Look at the tiny bottles. So cute. I've really been enjoying these little tiny bottles, you know? And it's cool, it also has the barcodes here at the top of the bottles as well. I don't think I've seen any gel polishes that has that. It does come with a top coat, matte top coat, and a base coat. I'm kind of curious to know the consistency of this base coat here. I'm sorry, the top coat here. Okay. It's a nice thick consistency, which y'all know I really enjoy uh, top coats that have a thicker viscosity, so that's really nice. Okay, and then let's take a look at the base coat. Okay, seems like a nice decent base coat as well. Let's open up one or two of the polishes here with you guys just to take a look and see. Ooh, this is a fun glitter here, that's pretty. So you got that, and then let me open up one of these solid colors here. Ooh, this is a nice maroon, not maroon, this is a nice like deep pink color here. Kind of a mauvey pink, that's really nice. Now let's do one more. And then we got a nice pretty silver color here. Okay, that's nice. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all of these with you all. I'm gonna speed through me swatching the first coat and then I'll do the second coat off camera. Okay, happy people. I wanted to pop in really quick and give you all my thoughts on these gel polishes. 
Um, I think they're really smooth. They're really easy to work with. And I like that there's good coverage after one coat. That black was really opaque after one coat. I was really impressed with that. Um, and I also just like the wide variety of colors that come in this kit. It's all the classic colors that you need. Um, and then it also has some really pretty nudes. So yeah, I was pretty happy with how these gel polishes looked and performed. Also, I am currently hosting a giveaway on my Instagram page. So if you all are interested in entering, um, I will leave my Instagram link down below. Um, as well as on the screen, it's rosebeauty318. So yeah, y'all, let's get back into this review. So this is what all of the colors look like swatched. I am gonna go through and show you each of them up close. We're gonna start off with 310. And this is like a really nice, pretty light pink color. Next we have 311 which is like a slightly deeper pink color, really pretty. 312, which is kind of like a mauve purple color. It's really nice. We also have this really beautiful nude, which is 313. I really like this nude a lot. Um, I think it's nice for my skin tone. I also have kind of like a deeper mauve -y, uh, it's like an off purple color, and that's 314. Really like that a lot as well. 315, which is this beautiful hollow uh, gold glitter. 47, which is also like this fun bright pink. It's kind of like a Barbie pink color. 241, which is a really beautiful silver color. 264, which is white. Um, this is a nice white. It's a nice basic everyday white color. 302, which is black. I was impressed with the black. Um, one coat coverage. And this is what two coats look like. It's really nice and opaque. 309, which is a beautiful, nice classic red. Last, we have 339, which is this really beautiful blue color. So these are all the colors in the collection. I really like that they're kind of like the primary basic colors that you would need. So you have all of your red, whites, blacks, blues. And then over here, you have your selection of nudes. So I really like the combination of colors in this kit. Also, you guys, I just realized I was saying the name of this brand completely wrong. So forgive me in the beginning. I was calling it MEFTA, and it's actually MEFA. So M-E-F-A, MEFA. And so, yeah, if you all are curious about how I got this look, I am going to leave the full tutorial link down in the description box below. But yeah, I'm going to take this set off and I'll be right back. Okay, happy people. I am back and I've decided what design I would like to do. I'm going to do my first set of luxury nails. I've been wanting to do luxury nails forever. And yeah, I'm excited to finally give it a try. I am going to go in with some full cover coffin tips. And um, on my nails currently, I do have on my Maran Peel Off Base Coat. I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite nail glues, and this is the nail glue by Beatles. I do have my nail extension lamp. I'll leave all these products linked down below so that you guys can check them out if you're interested, but I really like this lamp for applying nail extensions. So I'm gonna do a quick demo of how to apply full cover tips. I do have a dedicated video, so I will leave that linked um, in the description. But I also wanted to come on camera and just show you guys really quick. I feel like I haven't shown it in my videos in a little while. So what you wanna do is first go in with your full cover tip and apply just a little bit of the nail glue to the inside of the nail. I found it easiest when applying it to the cuticle area of the nail only and then just kind of allowing the product to flow its way out so you'll turn on your lamp first before you do anything and then apply it at the cuticle squeezing out all the product like so and then curing underneath the lamp now these nails are kind of long so i feel bad but you guys can't really see too much of what i got going on there we go so that's what the first nail looks like i'll move on to the next one you'll go in at the cuticle and allow the glue to work its way down. Quickly put underneath the light and let it cure. I'm gonna show you all that one more time. So you have your tip, apply gel to the inside of the nail. You can choose to do it one of two ways, either line the inside of the nail first or just apply it at the cuticle. I kind of just alternate between whatever I'm feeling for that particular nail. Scrape off the rest onto the inside, turn the light on. That might or might not be enough, I'm not sure. And then you take it at the cuticle okay like so and then allow the product to work its way down and then cure and when all the tips are applied you go ahead and do a full cure for 60 seconds i'm going to file shape buff the nails off camera my full cover tips have been filed shaped and buffed i am going to go in with the base coat from mifa and i'm going to apply that to all of the nails yeah the base coat is nice it's kind of on the looser side My base coat has been cured for 60 seconds. I'm gonna go in with 264, which is this really beautiful white color. I'm gonna apply that to all the nails. Yeah. The polishes are pretty nice. I will say that this white's pretty opaque. 
Not bad for like a standard white. As I'm applying the gel polish, I wanted to give a quick update about me going live on my channel. I had anticipated going live with you all this month, but to be honest, so many random things have just come up with my schedule, unfortunately. And so I'm hoping that next month I can go live with you guys. So yeah, I just wanted to give you all a quick update. I know I had mentioned it in previous videos. Alrighty, so this is what two coats of the white polish looks like. It's pretty opaque. Um, I'm tempted to go in with a third layer. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with one more layer because I feel like it can be a little bit more opaque, okay? All right, y'all, so this is what three layers of the gel polish looks like. Like I said, y'all, this is gonna be a luxury set, so I do have me my luxury uh, stickers here. So it's gonna be a white and blue set. I also have some luxury foils here. So I'm excited to play around with some more foils, and then I have some gold foil flakes. The kit did come with some, but I'm gonna use ones that I already have open. Might or might not throw in some caviar beads. And then I also have the bling that came in the kit. So I'm gonna put all this to use. I'm super excited. First, I am gonna go in with the McCart foil glue. So I'm gonna apply a generous layer. When you all are using foil glue, it's important to do a nice generous layer, but not too thick, not too thin. And you will let it cure for 60 seconds. And the key, again, with the foils is you have to let it cool for 30 seconds, okay? Now that that's been applied to the entire nail, I'm gonna cure for 60 seconds and then let cool for 30. I didn't notice this, but I think the foil glue actually does turn your white background yellow. So that's a little strange, but I'm gonna go ahead and move forward. It's been about 30 seconds later, so you wanna take your foil and just line it up exactly where you want everything to be. So I think I want mine to be like this. And then you'll wanna go up and down first. And then do the sides. And then you just rub, 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 until you can't rub anymore. And what you all will find is that um, typically the foil naturally starts to separate from the nail once the image has actually transferred. So I'm gonna just get on here and keep on rubbing. I do have my silicone tool. I normally use my silicone tool when my nails are too long. So I got these stilettos on over here. So. I'm gonna just keep rubbing that in until I can't rub anymore. Seems like it's starting to separate from the nail, so you'll wanna slowly pull it apart. And as you're pulling it apart, you just wanna make sure that most of the image has transferred. It looks like on the LD, it didn't transfer all the way, so I'm just gonna set it back down and start to rub again. to pull apart everything looks good looks good right here just a little bit of it did not transfer continue to pull apart oh look at that how beautiful y'all see that oh my goodness that is hot that is hot okay yeah so that transferred lovely yeah i like that next one i want to do is these stickers here i really like i think i want to do just like a strip of the blue going down the middle of this nail so i guess how do i measure it though i measured it out i'm just going to go ahead and take this sticker off and apply it to the nail I do think that's off center, but um, oh well, we're gonna go with it because it's on here now. <laughs> I was trying to get it in the center, y'all, but it didn't quite work. That's okay. Next, I'm going to actually add a gold sticker on this nail right here, and it's gonna be my Louis Vuitton uh, logo. And I want it to just be right here on the side of the nail, okay? Because I'm actually gonna go in and add some bling, so I'm just gonna add Louis Vuitton right here. I think, should I do the blue? Like the blue stands out more. Uh, I'm actually gonna go in with the blue. I was originally gonna do the gold, but I think I'm gonna just go in with blue. I like how that looks. So I'm gonna go in with the blue. Like so. Yeah, I like that. That's hot. And then on this nail, I did want to do a marble, but honestly, I'm liking how it's just looking the black and the blue and white though, you know? And then I really like this all blue circle right here. So I think I'm gonna go in with that on the pinky nail. 
And I'm gonna apply that to the center of the nail like so. Okay, so this is what we have so far on the nails. So next, y'all know what time it is. It's time for a little bit of blingtivity. So I do have this big bling charm box thingy, and I am going to um, apply bling, full bling to this nail. I actually have my bling placement already ready to go. I'm gonna go in with my Beatles rhinestone glue, and I'm gonna apply that to the center of my ring finger. That's where the bling is gonna be. I'm gonna cure that for 60 seconds. Alrighty, so I'm liking how that bling is looking, y'all. It is gorge. Next, I'm gonna go in on this middle finger and just do a full bling nail. I am just gonna go ahead and apply this bling with the Mepha or Mepha top coat. So I'm gonna apply that to the entire nail and then just apply my bling as I see fit. Go ahead and cure that in place. Well, I'm liking how it's coming together thus far. Next, I'm gonna go in and add a little bit of bling at the top of this nail strip and at the bottom of the, the nail sticker. So as I was going in with the bling for this nail, I realized I really didn't like how it looked kinda on the side of the strip. So I ended up going in with some more bling gel around the cuticle and just doing some cuticle bling for my index finger as well as the same thing on my pinky finger. So yeah, that's how I ended up rounding off the bling for this set. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cure for 60 seconds. Alrighty, so this is what the nails are looking like. I am gonna go ahead and top coat the rest of the nails. I'm gonna do my thumb off camera, apply some cuticle oil, and I'll be back with the finished look, okay? All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? Yes, baby, I am here for the luxury vibes in here today, okay? I am loving how this set turned out. It is absolutely stunning. I am loving the bling placement on my ring finger. That foil turned out beautifully. I love this little strip going right down the middle. Louis, Louis Vuitton, Louis Louis. Let's go. Nice to meet you, Louis. <laughs> <laughs> I can personally see that that foil glue turned this nail a little yellow, but I don't know that it's actually apparent to the naked eye. That's part of the reason why I actually put the diamonds all over it, just to kind of distract from the color. And then this is how I ended up doing the nail. I just did um, the, the Louis Vuitton logo in the middle and then the accents on the side with a little bit of bling. Y'all know I love my bling. So yeah, I am loving how the set turned out. Okay, so my final thoughts on the Mifa gel polish kit. I actually really enjoyed um, working with these gel polishes. There are some good everyday gel polishes, you know, like some good standard everyday gel polishes. I did love the fact that this uh, kit included a 48 watt lamp that was like small enough to be portable, but big enough to be a desk lamp if you wanted it to. It had the 12 gel polish colors. It came with the base coat, top coat, matte top coat. Um, it even came with nail art, nail tools, bling. So yeah, I think this is a really cool kit. It is available on Amazon, so I'm gonna leave the link for it down in the description box below in case you all are interested in checking it out. So yeah, y'all, let me know what y'all think about my first luxury design. Um, I am excited to do more luxury sets. Um, this is the first of many on the channel. I do have a full tutorial on this set over here. This is a dip powder set that I did earlier this week, so I'm gonna leave that link down in the description box below. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day.